going on here? We got the Jewel Saloon. Let's check it out. They're engrossed in conversation. Leave them be. Well, howdy there. Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, thanks. I'm Jay. Glad to know you, Jay. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Ah, uh, nice to meet you, Lloyd. Saw the sign out front advertising a room? That's right, finest room in the house and plenty of room for your partner too. Are you interested? How much does it cost? Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous tenant was a banker fella and he paid a month in advance right before getting himself killed by bandits. You seem like a decent sort, so the room's yours if you want it gratis. Wow, great. What a nice gentleman. If I was him, I'd just rent out the room again. Uh, howdy, Jay. Anything I can get for you? Hey, Lloyd. Need any help with anything? Well, if you're handy with mechanical type stuff, something's gone wrong with our player piano there. Wait a moment. <coughs> with our player piano player. What is a player piano player? Thought the music sounded a little off. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I'd have poked around in myself, but I lost the key. This is suddenly st taking a strange turn. That's true. The music does sound a bit strange. What's up with that? What's up with these guys over here? <laughs> hmm. These guys must have fallen asleep during a brawl. Oh, I see. I see. A classic. So uh, let's check out that piano player first. What's going on over there? The piano player is not very good at his job. Try to fix him. You lift up the piano, the player piano player's coat to reveal the hatch on his back that leads to his innards. It's locked, but it's not a very good lock. We can pick it. Let's do that. Uh, you open the hatch and check out the machinery inside. There's obviously something wrong, given all the plinking and sproinging and clicking noises coming out of the gears and stuff. It looks pretty complicated. Uh, we don't have enough mysticality for this, so let's come back to this later. Just let him play his strange tune. Oh, no. All right. Doc Alice? I see you found the local watering hole. Yeah, it's decent. Let me know if you find a whiskey hole, though. Eh. Uh, anything else you got? No. Uh, am I forgetting about anything? Ellis says you told the bartender in the Jewel Saloon, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Got that. No, don't want to talk to you. Who are you? That gal doesn't look like she's in the mood to talk. And would you look at that? We got our favorite kind of interactable in the whole game. A spittoon! This is a spittoon, which is a sort of brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor. Because not spitting at all is not an option in society, I guess. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty intimately familiar with spittoons already, sicko. Inspect it. Look, the Jewel Saloon is pretty nice as saloons go. Actual glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit. But this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit. Wait, mute it? Don't tell me. I can see the audio levels. I should be fine. Right? Right? Audio dead? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Venos. Alright, let's see here, let's see here. Uh, let me take a drink first. Uh, does the game have voice lines? No. Not at all. So, let's see. Uh, inspect it. Uh, here we go again. Alright, fine. You're now hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert and the ambient humidity is around here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. So that's good, right? No, that's bad because it's only the water part of spit that evaporates. This brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit, the toxins and filth that don't evaporate. Several years worth, distilled and concentrated until its consistency of molasses. 
People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out. Search it. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something the color and viscosity of maple syrup. Except, instead of maple, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth. Yeah. Glorp. Feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. Except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. Feels like your hand is dissolving. Keep searching. You found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine. A useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have any, and you hate them. We got a filthy porcelain cow! Hooray! Alright, beautiful. I can see it coming one day. Turtle will go an entire stream of that audio because we all have cried wolf too often. <laughs> too often. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And you just typed out lol. I'm not joking. I can't hear you, Turtle. What's going on, Snake? You have to fix your own stuff. Did you mute your own uh, PC or something? The old man stares off into the distance, listening to the piano. Actually, give me a moment. Ah, that's not right. Right. Uh, let's see, let's see. So, try to talk to the old man. Yeah, see, of course it was you. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, you missed the whole spittoon thing. Well, we'll find some more. I had West of Loathing in the background, and I was tripping so hard. <laughs> What's wrong with you? The old man stares off into the distance. Okay, so let's try to talk to him. I had the game audio playing, but it was like, where's Turtle? All right, the old man isn't reacting to us. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hey, man, I mean, it's on you, not on me, so I'm, I'm fine with it. Man points to a sign on the counter. Slop, five meat. Uh, let's get a portion of slop, I suppose. Got a plate of slop. Mmm. Check the kitchen here. This is where the chef preps ingredients for cooking. It's all also where he parks his beer. It'd be a shame if someone would redeem speaking German to cook a certain snake. <laughs> there must be some more non-Germans in chat right now, maybe. Atop this pot belly stove is a pot full of slop. A pot stove top slop pot. Good lord. Try saying that three times. Quickly. Uh, hey, what are you doing in here? Employees only, bud. Oh, sorry, I was just, you know, looking around. So you're the nosy type, eh? Well, I prefer adventuresome. As it happens, there's something you can do for me. I'm out of saltpeter and need somebody to go pick me up some more. Saltpeter? And other things. Look, who's the chef here, me or you? Uh, okay, okay, where can I find it? Your best bet's a military camp. Because it's used to make gunpowder. Shut up! The nearest one is Fort Cowardice. They keep it in little green jars. The chef marks the fort on your map. We got Fort Cowardice. Okay, be right back. What do we have here? This shelf is full of canned and bottled ingredients and boxes of slop helper. <laughs> oh no. Ooh. This lady's too busy washing dishes to pay attention to you. Hmm. Have you got the saltpeter yet? No, I'm still looking. I haven't even left the room. Look at him go. Hell yeah, you you dance away there. The sign that says see bartender for darts. Oh. oh wait, what does that say? Hey, how come they're allowed to drink without hats on? That's true. Uh the jewel saloon stage. A cowbell. Hit it. Hit it again. All right, nothing's happening. I suppose.
So, do you have darts? Oh, look at all of that. Uh, who's that old man by the piano? Oh, that's old Ellsbury. Tragic fella he is. He's, he was a writer and the poet. Came out of West to sell his stories, but nobody would buy it. Too weird his stories. Fantastical like. Stupid stuff for kids. Too bad. I love that stuff. Well, it don't matter much now, anyhow. He had to get normal work to make ends meet. Did pass and well as a prospector until one day he lost his mind and a mind. Wait, what? I don't know German, but as long as you're not stuttering, I'm sure it'll still be nice to listen to. Aw. Oh. He what now? I wonder how this game would be if I tried to do it in German. I don't even know if there's a translation for it. Anyway, you know what I mean, he saw something. Something that made him stop telling his weird tales, made him stop talking near completely. Come to that. He just stands there by the piano nowadays. It seems to calm him down. And as long as he doesn't make any trouble, I don't mind him too much. Feel a little sorry for him, to be honest. Poor fella. Uh, can I get some darts? Hmm? Sign on the dartboard says to see you for darts. Oh, sorry, all the darts got broken months ago. That's disappointing. Need any help with anything? Any luck with a player, piano player? No, I'm still working on it. Okay. All right. So we need some mysticality to fix that piano player. Let's check the guest rooms. Ooh, spacey. Look at that. Look at yourself in the mirror. Insult yourself. You call yourself a lizard kissing, lizard hugging jerk. Gain an effect angry. Ooh, what does that do? Where does that show? Where does that show up? Angry. You're madder than a hornet. Your anger level gets higher than one. You'll pass out from rage. Plus three muscle, plus three mysticality, plus three moxie. That's pretty damn good, actually. So, what else? There's a postcard on this little table. Take it. Got an item. Blank postcard. Hmm. The blank postcard. Maybe you should write to your family back home. In case you didn't know how the mail works, you send these by going to a building called a post office and giving it to a correspondence wizard who works there. Huh. What's the plate of slop, by the way? This is a plate of the slop they serve at the Jewel in Dirtwater. They should really hire better kitchen staff before some competing restaurant moves in and eats their lunch. Cool, cool. Increases max HP for the rest of the day. Huh. We could go to sleep. Don't really need that. Nice view from up here. This is Alice's bed. It's your partner. Hey, a kid. What's on your mind? What do you think we should do next? Uh, well, if you're looking... Okay, so we already got that. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Right, let's get out of here. Actually, there's two doors, but I think they both... Oh, no. This one leads outside. Okay. Let's check the rest of this stuff. Dirt Water Mercantile. Hello there. Welcome to Dirt Water Mercantile. Sundry provisions, miscellaneous provender, various groceries, assorted comestibles. They got everything here. Cool. So what do you have? Binoculars, dynamite, modern snake oiler. Ooh. Use this skill to learn a new snake oiling skill. That would come in handy. We are a snake oiler after all. Maybe we could finally learn to oil up a little S. Plum pudding. Shovel. We already have that. Soda crackers. Tooth powder. Tooth powder. Ugh. The less convenient precursor to toothpaste for use with less convenient precursors to toothbrushes. <laughs> Some blood sausages. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, the binoculars. So the binoculars we can use to randomly discover a map location. Which could come in handy sometimes, but right now I think we're good on all this stuff. The snake oiler skin is very, very tempting though. This horse smells weird. Oiling up my snake, hell yeah. That's all we do this stream. This little girl is selling flowers. Uh, don't really need one right now. Post office, let's check this out. Hi, I'm Jay Holiday. Any mail for me? Mm, nope. Darn. Well, I'd like to send a postcard. Alrighty, let's have it. You write a quick note to Rufus letting him know what you've been up to and that you're okay. 
That'll be, oh, it's a one of them prepaid pre ones. That'll be zero meat then. Thanks. Cute. Big cabinet of locked post office boxes. One of those newfangled telegraph machines. Ooh. All right, and the jail. The clerk clears her throat. Howdy, are you the sheriff here? No, we don't currently have a sheriff. Offer to be sheriff. I could be the sheriff, maybe. Um, do you have law enforcement experience? Uh, not really. Have you been to sheriff school? And no. Do you have an existing relationship with Dirt Water's local government? Are you familiar with all of the local ordinances? Do you even live here? I, uh, no. Then what, may I ask, in tarnation makes you think you'd be qualified to be sheriff? I just assumed... You just assumed that you could mosey into town and become sheriff on your first day. Well, when you put it that way... She snorts. I had five meat for every wide-eyed protagonist-looking kid who wanders in here thinking they, they're the most important tenderfoot to ever strap on iron. I wouldn't need this dead-end clerking job. Sorry. It's okay. Like I said, happens all the time. Offer to help. Need any help until you find a new sheriff. Sure, if you're any good with a gun, there's always somebody in need of some justice. Wanted posters are back there. Cells are over yonder. She points behind her and off to the right, respectively. Take your leave. Anything else you gotta say to me? Uh, why are flowers 50 meat when the slop is only 5 meat? Those better be some awesome flowers. I mean, yeah. We never know. We're probably gonna have to buy those flowers anyway. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I just wanted to say hi. I well, I best get, be getting back to work. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. What are the wanted posters? It's a wanted poster. It's a wanted poster or a wanted poster. Good lord. If accuracy is important, read it. It says wanted the house in the desert gang for mortgage non payment, squatting, and general public nuisance. Also for murdering two collection agents. Last seen at the house in the desert. 500 meter reward. Um. You wonder if the house is named after them, or if they're named after the house. In any case, at least their location is unambiguous. Want to go after them? Yes. Take note of the location of the house and resolve to bringing the house gang to justice. Hell yeah. Wanted poster. No, wait, you misread it. It's a wasted poster? Close enough. Poster reads, Wasted, the stripey hat gang for grand theft paint and tasteless hat vandalism. Last seen in the vicinity of Cavern Canyon. A thousand meat reward. Interesting. Dirty rotten paint thieves and low down no fashion sense hat vandals. Despicable. Want to go after them? Yes. Cavern Canyon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So there's already a couple locations we can go now. An empty cell. Uh, another one. And another one. And another one. This empty cell is all ghostly. Oh. Right. Let's rush and dance out of here. There you go. Wait, what is up with that horse's knee? Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Why do horses have so many legs? Lot available. A vacant lot. And another one. And another one. And one more. And another one. And yet another one. Not a lot available after this point. <laughs> oh man. I guess murder is cheaper than art. We're gonna find out soon enough. I mean, we've murdered a couple of people now. Doesn't look like we have a wanted poster yet. This little girl is selling flowers. Okay, let's buy some. We have a little bit of meat. Little girl, okay, uh -huh. got sweet smelling flowers. All right, what did that do for us? These flowers smell really good. This item goes in your offhand. 15% stench resistance. I don't actually know what's in my offhand right now. Was it the gold? No, the, the filthy porcelain thing? Yeah. No, let's keep the filth. We're not going to smell nice. We're going to keep the filth. You have to hold this little porcelain cow upside down because it's filled with tobacco spit and you don't want it to spill out the little hole in the bottom of it. Ah. Uh. Ugh. But at least we got some attack speed. Alright, let's saddle up and let's see what we can do out here. Look at that. Look at this huge map. 
and there's so many things left undiscovered. Beautiful. So we got the railroad camp, we got Fort Cowardice, we got Cavern Canyon, the Dave Yard, and the Desert House. I kind of want to check out the Dave Yard, honestly. Because it sounds hilarious. What's wander for? If you wander, you can randomly discover a location or just get a random encounter, like this one, for example. You hear a rustling sound and trace it to a small gulch nearby. Peeking over the edge, you see a goblin, a goblin rustling around in the brush. Presumably, it's a gulch goblin rustler? Always kind of assumed that referred to a different sort of rustling, though. Looks up at you and makes up uh, makes some angry sounding goblin noises. Jump down and fight it or surrender. We're gonna fight. Totally. So, how much HP does he have? 24. Mm -hmm. Well, you can probably get him without having to poison him. Get the snake out. Alice, what do you have? You've got the scattergun blast. Opponent will Each opponent will take three damage and patch up. Cool. Let's do this. Ow. And deal some more damage. All right. I hope Alice doesn't die here. Okay, cool. Got him. Victory. You clobber the goblin and find some goodies in the shrubbery he was rustling. Oh, cool. Got a goblin sandwich. On to the Dave Yard. Look at this place. It's full of skeletons. What do you have to say about this, Alice? Don't like this. Don't like one bit of this. Well, if we're going to hunt down that necromancer, this looks like a good place to start. Watch out for those piles of bones. I can tell you just looking at them that they're ready to jump up and fight. Left, thanks for following. Hey, hi. How are you doing? Uh, we'll be ready. What do you think we should do next? I like forgetting. We'll be ready. Hell yeah. Here lies Dave B. 1834 to 1884. Died with his boots on, but not his pants. Oh, that's Benos right there. Dave B. B for Benos? Come on. We found him, boys. Benos. I didn't know you were a zombie. Dig up the grave. You dig up the grave just to check the veracity of the epitaph. Sure enough, boots, but no pants. We got brown boots. Let's see, let's see. Aside from a light dusting of what looks like blue chalk, these boots are remarkably well preserved for having spent so much time in a grave. Plus one maximum AP. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What else? Here lies Dave C. 1828 to 1884. Went down in a theater. Hmm. Here lies Dave J. 1826 till 1884. Rap-a-pow. Hmm. Here lies Dave L, 1790 to 1851. Died of a heart attack. See you in minus 36 years. What the hell? Love the channel emotes, by the way. Nice, nice. I kind of, uh, I don't know, like, how to, how to navigate this whole, um, better TTV stuff, really. It's so weird to pick out channel emotes. It's just like, you have to go through the whole list to find something. So there's probably a lot better one somewhere, random hiding somewhere, but uh, I picked the ones that I'm kind of familiar with. Dave G, till 1884 again, he was looking to the sky to save him, but even the sky can't save a feller from like 40 angry bears. It's like the grave digger left his lunchbox here. Oh boy, free lunch. Got Vienna blot sausages and thermos of spiked coffee. Oh. And they said there was no such thing. Here lies Dave D. Till 1884 again. The truth was out there. It killed him. Dave G. Also till 1884. Murdered by a different fellow named Dave G. <laughs> Alright. That's all over here. So let's go one by one through all these twitchy skeletons, I think. I think we should do that. Start over here. These remains look pretty restless. Put them down for good. All right. Deploy a snake. And let everything else just work itself out. Honk. Work for now. Have fun. You too, you too. We will. You make the restless remains more restful. 
Got a gold tooth. Alice studies the remains of your undead foes. Huh. All right, let's keep going. More restless remains. Let's deploy another snake. Ooh, that didn't do much damage. We should be fine, I hope. All right. There we go. They're distracting him. They're distracting him just well. Beautiful. Okay, okay, got a skeleton bone. Alice studies the remains again. I'm not quite sure how Alice handles this stuff, like how her quest line plays out. All right. Got a smart looking skeleton here. Apparently. Oh, ooh. He's one of those guys. I see, I see. All right, let's just keep summoning snakes for however long we can do that. All right. Beautiful. I do like the snake oiler gameplay so far. Summoning stuff is always kind of fun. Cool, cool, cool. Ray. And one more. It's a pile of bones that isn't moving around for a change. Dig through it. It's mostly just boring, broken bones, but you do find a skull with a weird tag on it. Got an item skull with an odd tag on it. Okay, okay, okay. So is that all over here for now? All or most of these Daves died in 1884. This tree has dozens of messages carved into the bark, each reading Dave was here. <laughs> I see, I see. Okay, let's check that mausoleum out or whatever that is, the crypt. Let's get in here. What are we looking at? Okay, can't check that. This is one of those things they have in mausoleums, you know, one of those big marble things with drawers full of skeletons. Open one fight or open a whole bunch bigger fight. Hmm. Let's open one first. Okay, okay. This is easy enough. Ah, you whiffed. Come on, snake. Ah, you died. Come on, snake. Let's go, let's go. Oh, what's going on? These snakes. Right. We we still we're still good. We're still good. Right, you did it. You dragged a skeleton out of a drawer and then beat it up and put it back in the drawer. <coughs> oh man. Oh lord. We got a skeleton bone and a handful of loose teeth. Alright, alright. Alice surveys the scene and jots some notes down in her little notebook. So, we can fight some more. Actually, is this ever gonna... I don't... I think this... Uh, we can keep doing this until it ends, actually. I think. I don't quite remember. Let's fight a couple and see. Because this might also progressively get uh, more difficult as, as the fights go on. Alright. This is still totally doable. Oh, cool. Got skull chips. Alice surveys, Alice surveys the scene and jots some notes down. Her eyes light up. Ev evidently, she has an epiphany of some sort. Alice has become stronger. Cool. So Alice leveled up now somehow. So let's keep going. Let's see. Actually, you know, maybe it, maybe that's not the case. I thought they would get stronger and stronger, but it doesn't really look much like it. Because this guy doesn't have a lot of HP. So, hmm. Got a skeleton bone, got another skeleton bone, okay. Alright, let's die. let's just do one more. Okay, no, I, I, I think we can just do this indefinitely then. Alright. So this is just if you maybe want to farm up some some experience or something which i don't know if it's ever really necessary in this game maybe if you take the hard hat yeah probably if you take the hard hat okay okay uh and let's see if we can fight a bunch of them too just for the fun of it three of them Ooh. yeah this might be this might be where we die right now because <laughs> i don't know i mean alice is doing good aoe damage but this right here is a little bit 
a little bit ouch. No. This will be easy. Let's see, let's see. Uh, so I'll just shoot someone and Alice should heal me. Okay, so we get plus 50. Ooh, ow. Ooh. Oh no, this is not going to be good at all. Uh, let's see. Let's ingest some medicine. Maybe ingest one more. What else can we do? 